Hello friends and welcome to a Tassel a Day collaboration. This month, the month of April, there will be 30 collaborators all sharing tassels that they've been inspired to create. Some will show off their makes and some will show you how they make their tassels. Right now I'm just showing you some of the tassels that I have made in the past. Most of these are listed in my Etsy shop. This one is Christmas, but you know, we'll be having Christmas in July soon, so if you need a tassel for your Christmas journal or decor even, you know, keep that in mind. This is a boho tassel that I created. So I wanted to, I was just showing these off. I do have my tassel for today that I have created for today, but just giving you just a little sneak peek. In case you're new here, I'm the host of Tassel Tuesday. Recently I did a collaboration with Veronica of Christie's Crazy Crafty Life, but I started Tassel Tuesday several years ago, took a little break, and now back at it a little bit. So I want to invite you to join the collaboration, make a tassel, use the hashtag a tassel a day and tag me so I can see what you've made. That would be so much fun if you wanted to join in and please follow along so that you can see everybody's makes. Now, let me, before we get into that, let me move these because this one is the star of the show today. This is a Tigger tassel, and my friend Tony at Creative Chica Halls, she sent me this Tigger, and isn't it so cute? So I went ahead, I felt inspired to make a Tigger tassel, and here are some beads that I put on it. I used a lot of golds, here's some more beads, and, and you'll see those throughout. All you gotta do is sort of look through the tassel and you'll find more of them, and here they are. <laughs> so. This was loads of fun to make, and I have a tutorial right after I'm done showing it off to you so that you can see how I did make this fun Tigger tassel. Friends, be sure to follow along the hashtag. Check out everybody's makes. Support our crafty friends. Share the crafty love. And um, I just thank you for being here. Check out the tutorial if you've never made a tassel or you have some of these and you'd like to turn them into tassels. For starters, I've got this cute little Tigger. I don't even know what to call this thing. At any rate, my friend Tony at Creative Tika Hall sent it, as I mentioned earlier. And I asked my husband if he would drill a hole in the center of it. And you can see that there is a little hole there. It's a pretty small hole, which is exactly what I asked him to do, but I've got to figure out what I can get through there as far as uh, trims. And I decided that this would be the trim that I would try to get through there, that really thin one. You can see that I have all my trims here. I've got them all gathered up, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie something around them to keep them together. Now, this is a different kind of tassel. It's a type of tassel that I have not made before. I've never drilled a hole in uh, something like this and then created a tassel from it. The closest thing I've done is a salt and pepper shaker tassel. So it's kind of similar to that, but you can see that I tied all the fibers together uh, in the center. I know there's no way to feed this gold trim through that tigger. It's just too wide. So I'm going to use a tool. I have grabbed some jewelry wire and I'm going to thread that up through the hole and see if I'm able to pull the gold trim through. It was tight, but I was able to pull it through. So that part is done so that this piece doesn't pull back through the tigger and end up you know with all the fibers on the floor i'm going to go ahead and tie a knot at the top and that way it can't accidentally uh, fall back through it's pretty tight but still i don't want to take any chances so as you can see now i've got these two pieces of trim hanging down from the bottom of the tigger so now i'm going to go ahead and take all of these trims, this nice bundle of trims, and I'm going to tie them to the ticker piece. 
I am tying it super tight and I'm triple knotting it. To make sure that all the fibers and trims stay in place, I am taking a piece of the gold trim and I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot just like I do for a puff top tassel. Now to add a little fun and whimsy, I'm going to go ahead and attach some yellow and orange beads to some of this gold trim. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and trim the bottom just to make sure there's no crazy long ones sticking out. And we can see that there are a few. And there you have it, a Tigger tassel. This was really fun. I had not made one like this before, so it's always fun to do something new and different. This will be available in my Etsy shop if you are interested. Thanks for watching. See you soon.